Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Immersion RC Rapifier. I'm going to review it by talking about the technology behind how it works. That's from what I can um, gather. And also, you can see sample videos of uh, me flying Tiny Hawk indoors. Tiny Hawk doesn't have very good VTX, but you can see that the Rapifier has really helped to uh, mitigate that problem. It produces very good um, images for the goggles. I'm going to talk about the technology in, in, behind this uh, rapifier. So this is what I'm guessing how the technology works. So you have this camera from your quad, and this is the antenna. Your camera then transmits images um, through the air, and then the antenna on your um, goggles will pick up the images from your camera so in the normal um, VTX and receiver combination the receiver will switch between two receiver and then the images will go from one receiver and straight into the goggles so if the other uh, the signal goes weak and it will switch to the other um, Receiver, receiver antenna. So you keep have you keep having this constant switching of the uh, images for the antenna. So that's why you have this um, breaking up of the images. So that's for the normal um, receiver. But with the um, immersion RC, I I believe that there is a processor inside the immersion RC uh, rapifier. What that does is that when you receive signals from uh, this camera, the two receiver will receive images. So they will go either from here to there, here to there. So and then these two images are used by this um, processor and to be fused together. And the image is then processed, I think, in real time. And then this process image will come out clearer because it has been processed. I can see from my um, rapifier when I look into the images, this um, the images seems to be processed like a DVR recording. It's not like a direct feed of the uh, image from a camera to the receiver. So it's clearer, and if there's any breakup, it's very similar to the breakup that you can see in your uh, digital television at home. It's more like a digital noise uh, interference. So that's why this image is very clear. And if you combine this with a very good pair of goggles like the HDR, then the image will be extremely clear and you're gonna have a best image that you can possibly get from analog video from your camera. But this seems to have a limitation because as you can see, if, if this is a normal uh, receiver, uh, FPV receiver, this the image won't be processed. So what you get is what you see on your goggles. So the image will go from the camera into your goggles. But for this image to be processed, you're going to have to have a camera that is compatible with the processor. So if the images produced with by your camera is not compatible with the processor, then the processor won't work that well. So you're going to have a lot of uh, tearing of the images. So that's why I think the Rapifier has, is equipped with uh, a few uh, software. I think with this version, this is the third page, we have the Rapifier number one, Rapifier number two. And the legacy. Legacy is just a normal switching of the uh, uh, images without processing. So what they have done is that they know about the limitation of the images from the camera that can be processed by the processor. So they give you two options, three options actually, the rapifier number one, rapifier number two, and the normal one. So you can see that in the uh, option that you can select. So this is really not a fault of this uh, 
receiver module is really about the limitation of the technology. So if you buy this uh, rapidfire, the money that you are paying is for this processor. And there's nothing out there that can beat this um, technology right now. And I think this is the best that you can go with an analog video. And this is how you, we can get the best out of an analog video into a pair of fake shark goggles to give you the best quality picture. So I think with this, uh, fake shark can then go and produce a bigger OLED screen. And then with uh, rapid fire, then they will produce the best quality image. I think with this technology, you will go even further. If they can advance it, maybe the processing can be even better. So the images from the analog camera will be processed even better in real time. And it will give you maybe near to a HD type of image from the analog video feed. And hopefully there's no lagging. So what you need to do now it's really consider whether you want to buy the standard uh, switching of the images without processing, which you can buy up to the 2D module, or you can consider buying Rapidfire with this uh, processing technology. So I, what I can tell you is that this is money well spent if you have the money to, to buy this uh, Rapidfire, because if once you buy this one, then you don't have to buy any more uh, receiver and it, you got, it's going to last you for a long time unless they come up with uh, version 2 or version 3 that can give you even better images. So the one that I have now is the third page. So probably that's version uh, 1.3 of the original and it's already very very good. If you look at the technology, the receiver is really also very important because um, it receives the um, images. So you need to have very uh, uh, sensitive receiver. But the main thing about this is really about the image quality from the uh, your camera on your quad. Because if you have a very good processor in the camera itself, you're going to get very good processing done if it's compatible with the uh, Rapidfire processor. The receiver is th the receiver antenna themselves is really just one part which has been dealt with by Rapidfire uh, with no problems. So it just it just takes the signal from both uh, antenna. So what really matters is the camera. So that's why you have this compatibility issue so but the software can help you to overcome that compatibility issue so you have the uh, two rapidfire software and the legacy one hope you guys like and enjoy this video please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos so just remember quadcopter is not rocket science see you next time